says you got uh, a minor eye infection. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it? Nothing else? No, Lady Overseer. Exam's all done. Hi. I never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff, anyhow? These experimental devices could make life better for everyone. Huh. No shit. I figured coming down here was too good to be true. But I might have misjudged you. Might tell my friends it's a good thing down here. Thanks. I guess. So one of our residents is happy. That's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead, you spend your time pandering to their every whim. Don't you want to make your residents' lives better? The primary goal, the only goal, is to safeguard the American way and protect its people. I don't have the luxury of thinking about happiness. I'm improving people's lives. I'm not going to apologize for that. I just don't understand you. Please, make this next one count. This last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harnessed them? What vices are you talking about? Well, greed. The schematic is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters and let's see how it fares in the field. Some people complain, not me. Just happy to be here.
Is it drafty in here, or is it just me? You know, I think it is. Someone needs to check the, the thing seals broke. in the vault door. It keeps making these weird clicking noises. See if that does anything. Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. Is the slot machine supposed to flash every now and again? I swear it makes strange noise and flashes. You must be imagining things. A slot machine doesn't take pictures of people. <laughs> After all the experiments, what are your thoughts? It's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. The results were mixed, but in science, you rarely wind up exactly where you were expecting. With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. It was a privilege working with you. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. This is a big moment for me. I pass the mantle on to you. Guide Vault 88 to greatness. You're the Overseer now. Please, take care of the vault. Okay, time to head north.
there's really not much of a difference with that DLC. So far, the other ones really didn't have that much of an impact. Automatron doesn't really matter to the Institute. And... Vault Tech one. Pretty much the same thing. Same thing with Nuka World too. That's mostly a reader one. <laughs> but there's not really any <laughs> institute interactions here I can tell. This one might actually have more institute interactions because you're actually dealing with synths. First, I'll need to pick up Valentine.
telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that son of a little post. Big guns. Only six. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Who's our client? A fisherman, whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but... I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. I can't believe I'm posted outside the wall. Who the heck did I piss off?
thinking maybe for this one I probably shouldn't take Nick along.
not too far away. Not so bad, even with melee, and that isn't with all the melee perks. This is with only a few of them.
Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raided. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really... talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. going to be, let's go with, Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps, and if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project Log, Dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or 
Maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Project log, kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You... you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I, I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I... I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. <sighs> okay. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but... Then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean... I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there.
Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh god. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. She's mixed up. And she is mixed up. I want to save her first before I tell the Institute. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. A 
family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariner's incoming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! You might not be able to rescue you. Man the hall! Something's out there! I've got wounded out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Able to save everyone. Oh, we made it. I, I can't believe it. Thank you. Appreciate Avery. the help, man. And now you we're see still what in we're one up piece. against. Can't the fog and the creatures Avery that and the spits out have taken the job. whole island you, from my people. You ain't one of For us. your help when we needed it. We owe you. You deserve this. The harbormen pay their debts. Here. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes, and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. It's time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. 
What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. <laughs>